Good day. I'm going to continue the lecture about cleaning materials and supplies. Uh, the most imp the most basic uh, cleaning material is basically water. It's a necessity for cleaning and washing out dirt. Then we have uh, the paper towel, an absorbent made from paper used for drying, rubbing, and cleaning spills. Then we have the cleaning detergent, a mixture of uh, surfactant in diluted solutions used for cleaning purposes. Then we have the temporary storage uh, or garbage storage uh, in Tagalog. We call them uh, the basurahan. Then we have liquid uh, detergent, a cleansing agent that differs from soap that can emulsify oils and hold dirt in suspensions. Emulsify, ibig sabihin, they can remove. And baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, often used as a deodorizer. Then gloves, used to cover hand, the hands to prevent direct exposure to dirt, harmful substances, and chemicals. Uh, it is a must, especially when you are uh, a housekeeper. Then scrubbing foam, used to remove stains and contaminants from the surface tools and equipment. Our next topic is about the general guidelines in using cleaning equipment. Number one, uh, inspect the electrical equipment before use. We have to check if there are defects or broken parts for safety precautions. Remember, number two, remember to follow the manual on how to operate an equipment. It is uh, dangerous for a person to operate an equipment which he or she does not know how to operate. Number three, use the equipment carefully. Never leave it in unsafe areas unattended. So, hindi dapat natin iwanan kung saan saan lang. Number four, Avoid using electrical equipment in wet areas to prevent electrical accidents. Very, very obvious. We know that water uh, is, ba uh, we know that electricity can basically flow on water. And uh, that is very dangerous for the persons who are using the tools and equipment. So we have to uh, take note that uh, electrical equipment should not be used in wet areas. Number five. Have a regular maintenance of equipments. Now, equipments can be maintained thoroughly. That is, if a person always checks if uh, before they use the equipment, they have to check if uh, there are problems arising that's going to arise when uh, a person uses an equipment. And the last one is number six: clean the equipments before storing it. See to it that they are stored in a safe place, away from water. Now, it's very obvious, uh, a way of maintaining uh, equipment is basically cleaning them after use. It's, this, it's just the same as after you eat, you have to brush your teeth. Okay, our next topic is about setting up a trolley and caddy. A trolley is a mobile cart designed to keep linen and supplies to the guest rooms. It holds items such as plastic bags for garbage and hygiene supplies, cleaning agents like detergent and chemicals, cleaning equipment and varieties of cloths. A trolley also gathers supplies from the guest rooms. However, the difference of a trolley from a caddy is the caddy is a small and handy container that is used to store cleaning supplies and materials in an organized way. Below are a uh, given are the things to keep in mind when setting up and using a trolley. We're going to concentrate first on the trolley. Number one, always maintain the cleanliness and neatness of a trolley. Napa, napakapangit naman kung yung makikita ng mga guests nyo na yung trolley nyo ay napakadumi. And for hygiene purposes. Number two, stack the linen on the shelves with folds facing upwards. Ang folds ay naka-face pataas. Okay? Number number three, place a bag container for soiled items to one end of the trolley. So all items which have which have been used should be placed on uh, the trolley at one end of the trolley. Number four, set up all the needed items on the shelves of the trolley for convenience. So uh, even a, even a mechanic needs all the tools and equipments uh, near him for him to be able to function well. So, it's very important that all the, the things needed should be 
on the trolley for uh, the housekeeper to have an easier time. Number five, position the trolley outside the room where you are servicing so people would know that you are working. Pangit naman yung wala ang trolley, baka kala kung sino ka lang papasok, di ba? Number six, avoid trolley, avoid the trolley from blocking the fire exits. It is a must. Fire ex- exits should always be open. Especially if there are emergencies, uh, mahirap kasi kapag ka naka, nakabarayan dyan, mahihirapan yung lalabas. Then, number seven, regularly empty linen bags and garbage containers. Para hindi siya, hindi laging puno, ano? dapat laging tina, uh, tinatanggal yan. Number eight, prevent overloading your trolley. Keep only necessary things for the for cleaning. Napakapangit naman kung yung trolley mo punong-puno. Diba? Parang nagsaling ka ng pagkain sa isang plato na hindi naman hindi kasya yung pagkain mo. So, uh, tumutulo siya sa side. Diba? So, pangit din yan pagkaganyan. Tsaka, syempre, mamaya may, may maglalakad na, ano, na, na visitor or your clients makita yung ganyan. Parang ano, parang ano, napakadaming nakatambak. Diba? And then, number nine, move the trolley carefully to prevent bumping on the walls and people who are passing. Remember, di gulong yan. Pagka itinulak mo yan at tumama naman sa guest yan, malamang bibigyan ka ng memo kasi hindi ka nag-iingat. So, kailangan maingat lagi tayo dyan. Clean and sanitize the trolley right after using. So, obviously, kailangan malinis lagi yan. And the last one, store the trolley properly in the service area away from fire exits and doorways. So, na-discuss na yung kanina, it's very obvious. A cleaning caddy will keep your needed cleaning supplies in one spot. It is easy to carry around your working station. Okay? So, ano naman ang th- uh, bagay-bagay na kailangan tandaan pagka nagsiset tayo ng cleaning caddy? Number one, that you gathered and store all the necessary cleaning, cleaning supplies and materials like detergents, gloves, scrubbing foam, etc. So, napag-usapan na yan kanina sa, ano, nung pinag-usapan natin yung trolley, di ba? Na kailangan nandoon na lahat, hindi yung, ay, kulang pa pala, ay, wala pala. Number two, avoid putting too many supplies in the caddy, baka napakarami yan, eh, oh, na-overload na yan, mab, mab, yung, ano, hawakan, maputol na, no? So, magkakalat ka pa. I-charge pa sa iyo yan, di ba? Because of negligence. Pina, eh, hindi, mo, hindi mo inisip yung ginagawa mo. Number three, after using each supply, bring it back to the section it is where it is located to prevent misplacing. So, kung saan nyo kinuha, dun ibalik. Number four, regularly check the materials and supplies, refill the empty bottles of water or liquid detergents. Wash the soiled cloths before returning it. And number five, store the caddy to the place that can be easily grabbed whenever you can, y- whenever you want to use it, like under the kitchen or the bathroom sink, in the laundry or cabinet. Okay. Activities for week one module. Activity 1.1, direction. In a short band paper, draw and label at least five cleaning tools, materials, and equipment you have already seen and used at home school, or in other facilities. Share your experience on using those things. For example, you experience to use the vacuum. So, ano ba yung nangyari sa'yo nung ginamit mo yung vacuum? Nakayanan mo ba siyang i-operate? Na gawa mo ba? Na perform mo ba yung tamang paggamit doon sa vacuum? So, share your experiences sa mga uh, tools or materials na ginamit niyo sa pag-test. Okay, that's activity 1.1. Activity 1.2. Direction. List down the do's and don'ts in setting up and using the trolley and caddy. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Okay, we have a pattern here to use. One is for trolley. What's the do's and don'ts? Okay, another one is for the caddy, the do's and don'ts. Draw it on a separate sheet of paper and answer inside the box. Okay. Next activity, 
1.3 direction. Create a caddy using the materials that are available at your home. Make an educational vlog by filming yourself cleaning one section of your home. Example, bathroom, bedroom, etc. Present the caddy you have made and show the guidelines in setting up a cleaning caddy. You will be graded according to the rubric on your module. Okay. Number one is create a caddy using the materials that are available at your home. Uh, from the lecture, alam po naman, alam niyo na kung ano yung caddy. So, kung ano lang yung available na pwede niyong gamitin na meron sa bahay, yun lang yung gagamitin niyo. You don't have to buy outside. So, yung mga available materials lang na makakapag-create kayo ng caddy. Okay? Next, make an additional vlog by filming yourself cleaning one section of your home. So, dito, maglilinis kayo. Okay? Kahit anong part ng bahay nyo, isang part lang ng bahay nyo ang lilinisin nyo. Pwedeng sa CR, pwedeng sa bedroom, pwedeng sa kusina, okay? Sa sala. Okay? Then, ipepresent nyo rin yung cubby you have made and show the guidelines in setting up a cleaning cubby. Okay, so, papakita nyo yun na ano-ano uh, yung mga ginamit yung materials, inilagay nyo doon sa kadi. Okay, ano yung mga cleaning tools na dapat nasa kadi na kakailangan ninyo sa paglilinis. Okay, you will be graded according to the rubric on your module. Ano ba yung rubric natin? Here is the rubric. Excellent, five points. Yung content, the procedures are demonstrated completely and correctly. Okay, five points yun. Okay, four points. The procedures are demonstrated completely but there is one or two incorrect information stated. Three points. The procedures are demonstrated incompletely but the information is stated correctly. And one to two points. The procedures are incomplete and incorrect. Okay, for creativity. Five points. The video presentation is unique and presented creatively using appropriate supplies and materials. Four points. The video presentation is ordinary but presented creatively using appropriate supplies and materials. Number three. The video presentation is ordinary. Materials are lacking and inappropriate for the task. Number uh, one to two points. The video presentation is very common. Can be copied to other ideas. There are no cleaning materials and supplies. And last one is resourcefulness. Okay. Five points. The created caddy is well made and presentable and can store all the cleaning materials needed for cleaning. Four points. The created caddy is well made but not the presentable. It can store all the cleaning supplies needed for cleaning. Three points. The created caddy is presentable but too small and cannot carry enough load of cleaning supplies. And one to two points. The created caddy is obviously lacking quality, not presentable, and has insufficient space for cleaning supplies. So that's the rubric. Okay? And always remember... Cleaning materials and equipment required for servicing rooms are correctly selected and prepared for use. A good housekeeper should be knowledgeable and skillful in using and selecting housekeeping tools, materials, and equipment to present accident and damages. Housekeeping tools, materials, and equipment are classified into three. Manual cleaning equipment, electric cleaning equipment and cleaning supplies and materials. And last, a trolley is a movable cart designed to keep linen and supplies to the guest room. It holds items such as plastic bag containers for garbage and hygiene supplies. Cleaning agents like detergent, chemicals, cleaning equipment, and varieties of clothes. Okay, that's all and thank you. Now that we're done with the discussion of the cleaning supplies and materials, clean equipments, and the setting up of trolley and caddy, 
we will now do or uh, we will now test your knowledge if you do really understand our lesson very well for this week so for our check your understanding and post test uh there is a link beside me that right there yeah that right there uh, okay just put that thing or that uh, just copy this uh link to your ad, uh, to your address link so that you will answer our check, check your understanding and post test so the link will be open for responses on october 15 3 p.m up to october 18 5 p.m okay so there you will about to answer your check your understanding and post test Okay, do you have any questions?